The Midwestern state of Kansas is most famously known as the backdrop for the American film classic The Wizard of Oz. As the 15th largest state by size, Kansas is rooted in agriculture, as evidenced by the endless fields of wheat and corn and the tall grass prairies, which remain one of the state's most important natural treasures. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Kansas. And just wait till you see the number one that we're going to be showing in this video, something you might not even have thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. Oh, now before we begin, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel by pressing that join button below. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos. So let's cut to the Kansas chase. At number 10, Monument Rocks. Seeing the natural formations at Monument Rocks is one of the best ways to fully appreciate the natural beauty that exists in Kansas. This national landmark is also called the Chalk Pyramids. While they sit back a distance from the highway, you can still see them. The formations are located about 20 miles south of Oakley in western Kansas and are accessible near the US 83, where you'll find a few signs for the turnoff. It is believed that the massive formations developed over 80 million years ago when the area was underwater. Definitely take your camera. At 9, Flint Hills Discovery Center, Manhattan. One of the most fascinating interactive centers in Kansas is at the Flint Hills Discovery Center in Manhattan. No, that's not Manhattan, New York. While the center focuses on the history of the Flint Hills, it is actually a deep lesson on some of America's most fundamental nature, wildlife, inventions, and pop culture. The museum is part science and part culture, with exhibits that look at things like conservation of the North American bison and the ecosystem in the tall grass prairies. Catch a showing in the Immersive Experience Theater, where you will feel the winds of the Flint Hills blowing your hair as you watch the film on the history and evolution of the area. That's if you have hair, unlike me. Be sure to step out on the rooftop terrace for a panoramic view of the city and wrap up your visit with a bite to eat or purchase a locally made gift at the nearby Blue Earth Plaza. Next in at number 8, Spencer Museum of Art, Lawrence. What makes the Spencer Museum of Art unique for art lovers is that it is the only art museum in the state that houses more than 45,000 pieces in all forms of media. The collection is located in the University of Kansas, Lawrence, so it has an academic slant that cross-connects art and experience in an interdisciplinary way. The permanent collections include African, Asian, European, American, Latin American and Native American art, among others. There are regular changing exhibitions that focus on various artists and mediums, as well as visitor programs throughout the year to engage art connoisseurs on a deeper level. Right on! And now at number 7, the Evil Knievel Museum, Topeka. There was only ever one true American daredevil, Evil Knievel, who wowed audiences with his death-defying motorcycle stunts. The Evil Knievel Museum is located in the historic Harley-Davidson store in Topeka, with an impressive collection of artifacts and information about the legendary stuntman. The building has two stories of collections which range from Evil Knievel's motorcycles and helmets to colourful costumes. If you have ever wanted to be like the Daredevil, and I certainly have not, you can try the 4D Jump Experience or the Broken Bones Interactive Display to get the full scope of what living life on the edge is like. Um, no, not no thanks. At number 6, Boot Hill Dodge City. Do you want to experience what the Wild West was like during the 1800s? Yeehaw! Then plan a visit to Boot Hill in Dodge City, where things have changed very little since 1870. The Boot Hill Museum has thousands of artifacts and photographs depicting Dodge City in its early years from businesses to the social scene. To put things into perspective, take a stroll through some of the historic buildings like the schoolhouse and Fort Dodge Jail. Don't get caught inside though. Get a glimpse into what the general store and local saloon were like in the early 1900s. The best time to visit is when there are special events and probably no bandits around, like the reenactment street shootout of the Boot Hill Gunfighters, which takes place twice a day in the summer. And they still get up from it. Amazing. At number 5, Tallgrass Prairie National Reserve. 
Have you ever wondered what the American West looked like before farms with orderly fields of corn and wheat? If so, plan a visit to the Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve in the Kansas Flint Hills. With less than 4% of America's original 170 million acres of land left as Tallgrass Prairie, this location is one of the only places to visit in America to experience the majesty of this unique ecosystem in its original form. You can take a bus tour, a self-guided cell phone tour, or hike the area at your leisure. One of the most special ways to experience the Tallgrass Prairie and its ties to America's heartland is during one of the special events that are scheduled throughout the year. One of the most popular is an open-air symphony concert. Nice! Next up, at number 4, it's Sedgwick County Zoo, Wichita. One of the top attractions in the state of Kansas for families is the Sedgwick County Zoo in Wichita. Children will be thrilled with over 3,000 animals across 400 species. Highlights include elephants, gorillas, lions, chatty kookaburras and even tigers. You can tour the zoo on foot or take the free tram, which sounds better, which runs on the hour with ongoing narration. If you find yourself at the zoo on a weekend, an even better option is to take the local boat tour, which leaves every half hour for an additional fee. Animal interactions are available and include spending time with penguins, rhinos, tortoises and others for an additional fee. The easiest and cheapest animal interaction is giraffe feeding. These gentle giants slowly extend their long necks down to you and grab the vegetables from your hand with their giant tongues. Sounds like an adventure from Dr. Doolittle. And now at number three, Eisenhower Presidential Library, Museum and Boyhood Home, Abilene. Even if you know nothing or very little about President Dwight D. Eisenhower, a visit to his boyhood home and presidential library in Abilene will make you appreciate his contributions to American politics and society. The complex features five buildings, the presidential library with exhibits and research archives, a museum, a visitor center, which sites on the site of Eisenhower's former elementary school, a meditation building and his boyhood home. The museum has recently been updated to include the latest interactive exhibits. Now you'll be able to hear and see Ike and Mamie speak about the causes closest to their hearts. Be sure to look in the gift shop for unique politically themed gifts and some replica I Like Ike campaign memorabilia from the 1952 presidential election. Bit before my time. At 2, Kansas State Capitol, Topeka. Brush up on your Kansas knowledge with a walk through the Kansas State Capitol in Topeka. The Capitol complex covers about 20 acres in the heart of downtown and is considered a treasure among architectural enthusiasts. The French Renaissance style building took 37 years to complete after the first stone was set in 1866. The murals, sculptures and regular programs at the Capitol are always captivating, but for a truly unique experience, take the free dome tour. This is for visitors who are physically capable of walking up the 296 steps for a close-up view of the dome and a spectacular panoramic view of Topeka from the top. And finally, drum roll please for number one, Botanica. Wichita Gardens. Visiting the Botanica Wichita Gardens is one of the top things to do in the city of Wichita. The gardens celebrate horticulture in a magnificent manner. Open year-round, the facility has 30 themed gardens to explore. Yes, 30! Try a walk into the imaginative and educational Downing Children's Garden to experience the Monster Woods exhibit or watch kids play in the treehouse. Stroll through the Shakespeare Garden to see plants and flowers representative of the Elizabethan era. Enjoy the butterfly gardens and the koi pond pavilions as you walk the 18 acres on site, taking in the beauty of the landscape, the sculptures and more than 4,000 species of plants. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Kansas. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time!